So you're a dividend growth investor that wants to earn massive fat stacks of cash on a monthly basis, but you're not exactly sure which of the dividend paying ETFs out there are the best vehicles to do so. Well, in this video, we're gonna go through five of my all time favorite, higher yielding, more income generating dividend paying ETFs. And I'm gonna show you exactly how many shares of each of these you will need to purchase in order to earn around $500 on a monthly basis. And spoiler alert, it's much, much easier than probably a lot of you think. So if you're interested in earning a massive amount of dividend income on a monthly basis, make sure to stick around, drop a link down below, and let's get right into the first ETF. Real quick for those that haven't already, make sure to go to the first link in my description and grab my new dividend investing ebook, where I share exactly how I went from $0 invested to now earning over $6,000 on a monthly basis and over $1 million invested in the market. Along with the ebook, you're also going to receive my custom dividend tracker, where you can track your dividend progress on an ongoing basis and reach your dividend investing goals. So make sure to grab yourself a copy of my dividend investing ebook and the new dividend tracker today. It's the first link in my description. So the first dividend paying higher income focused dividend ETF that I personally own a ton of shares of that I absolutely love is SPYI or the NEOS S&P 500 high income ETF. Now this ETF has a really interesting strategy. It basically buys within the S&P 500 and then utilizes a cover call strategy. And by doing so, the management is able to earn or at least has earned historically around 12% trillion 12 month dividend yield or around 49 cents more or less on a monthly basis for every single share of SPYI that you own. Now all along while SPYI, at least up until this point is also trading up a little bit. So you're not only getting paid massive amount of cash flow on a monthly basis by investing into this specific ETF, but also your investment value is going up, which is a bonus. Now, because this specific ETF pays investors around 49 cents on a monthly basis, and that's for every single share of it that you own. That means that if a dividend more income focused investor like you or I, for example, wanted to earn $500 on a monthly basis in dividend income from just SPYI, that dividend investor would need to purchase 1,020 shares of this ETF. Or that investor would need to invest around $50,000 into SPYI to basically more or less, quote unquote, guarantee them around $500 per month in dividend income or around $6,000 per year. Another super easy way that an investor could potentially earn around $500 on a monthly basis from a high quality, high income paying ETF is another ETF that I personally hold in my portfolio. I'm talking about QQQI or the NEOS NASDAQ 100 high income ETF. Now this ETF basically buys into the NASDAQ 100 and sells cover calls on the NASDAQ. And by doing so, because of the amount of premium that's within this index, the dividend income from the CTF has been massive, at least so far. We're talking around 59 to 60 cents on a monthly basis, all for an ETF that costs around 50 bucks. Now, this means that an investor in theory would need to only purchase 833 shares of QQQI if they wanted to earn roughly $500 in dividends on a monthly basis. Now, because this ETF costs around $50 per share as of this filming, you need to purchase around $41,000 into this ETF in order to receive around $500 per month in dividends. Now, I'm honestly such a big fan of these different income focused, more income generating ETFs like SPYI or even like QQQI, and this is because it offers the potential for massive dividends to investors a lot sooner. Now, for reference, if an investor wanted to purchase SPY or the S&P 500 ETF, let's say, and if this investor wanted to earn $500 per month in dividends, let's say, because SPY pays around $1.75 or so per quarter. If we would take 500 divided by 60, an investor would need to purchase 833 shares of SPY or spend around $420,000 into this ETF in order to earn that $500 dividend goal that we're talking about. Another super easy way an investor could potentially earn $500 per month in dividend income much, much quicker is by investing into something like SVOL or the Simplify Volatility Premium ETF. Heading over to the Simplify ETF website, it says SVOL Simplify Volatility Premium ETF. It then says the Simplify Volatility Premium ETF SVOL seeks to provide investment results before fees and expenses that correspond to approximately one fifth to three tenths. The inverse of the performance of the, of the CBOE Volatility Index or the VIX Short Term Future Index while also seeking to mitigate extreme volatility. They then said, we believe many traditional sources of income are failing to meet investors' needs in today's low yield environment. But SVOL aims to provide an attractive income stream and source of diversification while seeking to avoid risks inherent in other income producing assets. The fund short VIX position provides investors an optimized exposure for monetizing the premium in the VIX future market. A modest option overlay budget is then deployed into VIX call options to help protect against adverse moves in the VIX. So with this sort of interesting alternative strategy, SVOL shorts the VIX and earns a ton of premium for doing so, but all along they still offer a modest overlay in some VIX call options just in case things go sideways. Now, now SVOL historically has offered a massive dividend so far to investors around 30 cents on a monthly basis for an ETF that costs just over $22 per share. 
Now, this means an investor in theory would need to purchase around 1,600 shares of SVOL or purchase around $37,000 worth this ETF. And then if they do that, they would be earning around $500 per month in dividends. Another super interesting newer income focus ETF that I also been purchasing some shares of as of recently is FEPI or Rex Fang and Innovation Equity Premium Income ETF. Now this ETF buys into a basket of super volatile, high premium single stocks and utilizes a cover call strategy in order to generate a ton of income, at least historically. We're talking for an ETF that costs around $53, $54 per share. We're talking dividends upwards of $1.20 per month. This means that in theory, an investor would only need to purchase, say, 416 shares of FEPI or spend just over $22,000 into an ETF like this one in order to earn that $500 per month dividend goal. Now, this is an option that's extremely risky, but still fun to look into, so listen closely. If an investor wanted to earn a ton of dividend income potentially, keyword there, potentially, an investor could buy into something like the Yieldmax Coin Option Income Strategy ETF or Coney, which at least historically has paid investors massive, massive dividends for the most part. We're talking some months $2.69 per share, some months as of last February, $1.08, and then basically everything else in between. But just for fun in theory, last month, Coney paid $2.79 per share in the form of distributions. So that means an investor would need to purchase 179 shares of Coney in order to hit that $500 per month goal. Now, because Coney is roughly $23 per share, an investor would only need to purchase, in theory again, in theory, $4,121 worth of this ETF in order to earn upwards of $500 per month in dividends. Now, obviously, there's no such thing as a free lunch, and with the higher dividends, most of the time at least, keyword most of the time, a lot more risk is associated with it. But honestly, I really just want to make the point that there are a lot of different investment vehicles across the market that do yield a lot more than more of the traditional style ETFs that could be good options for more dividend income focused investors that aren't necessarily concerned about as much growth maybe, but are more concerned about getting their dividend income up to a certain point as fast as possible. Now, throughout my long-term portfolio, although I do own some shares of things like SVOL or even FEPI, I do like to have a lot of other holdings in this portfolio that aren't necessarily going to yield all that much, but do have more potential to grow my portfolio on top of that. Some examples of this are things like my shares of SCHD. I have 608 shares of it currently, and also things like JP Morgan. We have names like Realty Income, Apple, etc. Now, you really have to figure out what your main goal is when it comes to investing, especially if you are newer at investing. Figure out if you are trying to solve for massive amounts of income, and if you are, there's probably going to be a ton of different options that you can invest into. Or maybe on the other hand, if you're trying to solve for massive growth potential, there's also amazing ETFs out there that can solve that. But long term, figure out your strategy, stick with it, and just know that across the market, especially if you're looking for ETFs, there's awesome ETFs out there with interesting strategies that can pretty much get you to exactly where you want to be. But now lastly, I want to hear from you guys down below. Out of all the income generating ETFs we went through in this video, all the ETFs that I showed you, how many it would take to get to that $500 per month goal, I want to hear from you guys down below. Which is your favorite out of all five that we went through in this video? Let me know in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to please drop a like and subscribe for more future content like this. Thanks as always for stopping by. And if you are interested in investing, make sure to check out these recent videos I posted right here.